Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the weekly energy forecast for the upcoming week starting October 28th through November 3rd. I want to welcome all of you to my channel. This is the reading I do every week where I take a look at the overall energies coming in in the collective. Think of this like your spiritual and energetic weather forecast, if you will. And this is just to give you a heads up of what might be coming in for you this week so that you can navigate the week a little bit more smoothly, a little bit less abruptly, and just have an awareness and help develop more of an awareness of the own energies within yourself. So I'm going to be doing uh, three cards here for the themes for the week, and then I am going to be pulling cards specifically for the masculine collective energies and the feminine collective energies. Now, I know many new subscribers here and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If this is a new concept for you, just think of the, the different, the two different piles here as two different sides of yourself. Now, some of you may be watching this for a relationship or a soulmate or a twin flame, understanding what energies may be going on in both of your worlds this week. But I do highly encourage you to watch this as a tool for self-awareness and understanding what may be going on within us. So I guarantee you, because we all contain and exhibit masculine and feminine energies, um, regardless of our personal gender or also our main energy, um, our main energy, like, like our, our primary energy, whether it's prim you're primarily more of a masculine energy or primarily more of a feminine energy, um, you will have messages resonate from both sides. So with that, I want to get started. So we have a big week here. We are I'm recording this here on the new moon in Scorpio. So if you haven't seen the video I've done about the new moon in Scorpio, please do go check it out. It's also why I picked, I was feeling very watery today with my card choices. So I picked two mermaid decks to use here, but let's just get started for the messages for this week. See what messages are coming through. Ooh, we get angry. We're starting off with anger. Okay. So you know, this is interesting because Scorpio energy is very, very deep, very intense, very deep. So there may be something coming through here for you this week where this something that's been smoldering deep within you for a while that maybe you thought you had resolved might peek its head out. And this is about really understanding that even though we may be on a spiritual journey and it's something I talk about a lot, actually, it's okay to have these emotions. You know, some people might think, oh, if I'm, if I'm, I'm not super spiritual, if I feel really pissed off. Well, that's actually not true. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And so to deny any, any emotions that are coming up will only further lead to um, imbalances that will eventually lead to possibly even physical illness if we're not safely expressing it. So this is also about using anger as a really positive force, using it to motivate you towards something. And just truly trusting that it's about, it is safe to express your anger. It's not safe to, you know, blow up over some on somebody, but to feel it and to express it in a way that's not threatening or abusive is certainly acceptable. It's part of the journey. We have those situations. So let's see how else this is coming in here for the week. Let's get some uh, more information about why this is coming in. We are getting your hard work is paying off. So this is beginning to, to see the fruits of your labor, to see that there may be things you've been working on, working on spiritually, working on energetically, really working or, or even physically, like working on a new project, working towards a dream. And this is about, you may not have seen the results quite yet, but they're on their way. So you might be starting to see little signs and little synchronicities that are showing that something is starting to happen. Something is starting to pop. I'm getting the image right now of popcorn on the stove when it's been sizzling in the oil for a while. And just a few kernels are starting to pop. They're starting the whole process. It's not quite where everything's popping yet, but there is some action happening. And that's what I also feel about this anger. You know, that popcorn reference and the image my guides are giving me 
it's, you know, how does popcorn pop? There's that inner, I believe it's a, a piece of water. It's, it's like a, it's water within the corn that suddenly builds up the intense pressure and it has to burst. Now, if I'm wrong about that, <laughs> um, that's my caveat. I'm not 100% positive, but that's the image I'm getting from my guide. So I'm just going with it. So it's almost like this something within you is about could potentially pop um, and come out that things are always are going to almost be forever different for you. You know, that little kernel of popcorn, once it pops, there ain't going to go back to being that little kernel of popcorn. So um, let's see how else. So things are starting to push you forward and in your transformation here. I'm going to get one more card for the energies for the week. So, and know that, you know, sometimes you just got to let it, you have to let it out. And there's, if it's justified and if it's warranted, you know, all be it. And here it is, stay focused, hold the course. So we're getting a couple messages here of whatever you've been working towards. Stay focused on where you're going. Your hard work is starting to pay off. Stay steady, hold the course, keep your eyes focused on where you're going and less on what's happening on the ground. All right. So let's see how this is playing out in the energies of the divine masculine. Let's see what is going on. What is the Divine Masculine Energy's focus this week? I'm going to pull one card. And he's getting the Four of Pentacles. So this is an energy of being, of, of kind of holding your cards tightly. It's also an energy of potentially being guarded, being a little isolated, not showing everything. And I'm going to get another card here for the focus for the Divine Masculine, actually from the Moonology deck. So he's getting the Four of Pentacles, which can be a card about not having enough to give to something else right now. Or just somebody who's focused on creating their stability. And they might need to... Um, and in order to create stability, they have to kind of not cut off from their emotions... But, and what I'm just getting so drawn to is see how she's sitting here and she's surrounded by a waterfall. It's like she's trying to stay separate from the flood of emotions that she's feeling. She's trying to stay safe from the water of the waterfall. It's, it's churning, it's tumultuous, it's um, intense, it's rushing in. So let's see, I got another card for the masculine for the week. Oh, a new romantic cycle begins. All right. So what this, what's, what this is meaning to me is the masculine this week is really being, really being, um, who, what's the word? He's got a lot of emotions this week. And of course, being Scorpio season highly, highly understandable. And because of this, he may be trying to hold himself back, but there is a new cycle starting. And this is a new moon in Libra, which is a scale of balance. So it's like he's trying to gain his balance. He could be feeling intense emotions this week, which for the divine masculine energies, you know, this is about that mastery of emotions. The masculine has connected to his emotional body here in the collective, meaning starting to feel things and he's learning mastery on how to um, navigate when the emotions can get really intense. But when he's getting the four of pentacles and a new romantic cycle begins, it's like he is, he's feeling all the emotions, but he's holding back on the outside because he can't just let it all out because it would be too much is what I'm feeling. So let's get a card here for the focus for the divine feminine this week. Okay, and she's getting the two of wands. 
interesting in this deck it's called vision and here we are staying focused he's using this telescope to look forward and stay focused so for the divine feminine this is an energy of continuing something that's already started um, keeping your vision going knowing where you're going not letting anything stop you from where you're going so Interesting that these cards are kind of on the same sides here for the masculine getting anger and the feminine, <laughs> the feminine getting staying focused and having the vision. So this is an example of how the feminine energies within us are holding the masculine steady. Now, the masculine within us or in a relationship, the masculine energy is trying to contain the emotions and use his sacred masculine energy to use them for positive, to project it into something good, to um, not let it take over, not let the anger and frustration come out, which is distorted masculine energy and its expression. It's okay to have the anger, but this is about keeping it under control and using it for good. So for the feminine here, she's getting your commitment is being tested. So again, very clear messages for the feminines this week. The sacred feminine energy is our intuitive side, our nurturing side. And so if you have had an intuition about something in your, in your life that you may be starting to question or something might come in this week that causes you to question it, they're saying don't worry about what shows up for you. Keep your focus on where you're going. Trust your intuition. Trust your path. Trust your inner guidance system divine feminine all right let's see what's going on in um how is the divine masculine presenting in the outer world this week like how is he presenting in his outward world he's getting the five of swords the three of wands and the devil So what this feels like to me is there's an energy of looking forward, making plans for the future, feeling like there might be something that he, that he happened upon or something that, that he got hurt by something unexpectedly. And he might be feeling trapped in this cage with this devil energy this devil can represent this anger though and you know intense passionate energy this doesn't necessarily have to be anger but there's something here where because i'm so drawn to this this little mer child who has this sword and accidentally got cut by it and this penguin is comforting him like they're there it's okay I know sometimes we don't realize something can hurt us and then it does, but you've learned your lesson. And so there may be something here that's causing some change for the masculine this week. Maybe something has changed. Maybe something that he was doing um, suddenly hurt him or situation he was in suddenly hurt him unexpectedly and it doesn't feel good. But it's bringing about change. It's bringing about lessons. It's bringing about learning. Tell me what's going on in his inner world this week, meaning in his internal world. The Nine of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Judgment card. All right. I am getting a feeling like if something has recently happened for the masculine, you know, maybe there was some sort of situation where he was betrayed, a very toxic situation. When the devil shows up, that's toxicity. That's, um, that's addictions, codependency, toxic relationships. And when I'm getting this, this energy 
I'm so drawn to the Three of Wands being in the middle here. There's sadness here for the masculine this week. There's sadness coming in. Regrets about the past. Regrets about past wounding. I'm getting two cards about being wounded here, you guys. This seal here on this Five of Cups card, he's injured and she's comforting comforting this sea lion or seal. Oh my gosh, my daughter always gets mad at me when I'm like, no mom, it's the sea lion or no, it's the seal. And I don't know the difference. I never remember the difference. So <laughs> another disclaimer in the same video. I've now got two disclaimers in this video. So there are two cards here showing wounding and and something that's hurt. So it feels like it's whatever's caused this hurt for the masculine, it's causing him to reevaluate and assess where he's going. Um, and he's ready to live his life that's aligned for him. He again, we're getting two cards of guardedness here, holding back a little bit with the nine of wands and the four of cups here. It's like, I'm moving these up because I'm going to have another row here and I want you guys to be able to see it, but it's, it's definitely an energy of perseverance as well. And I'm hearing the last straw. It's the last straw. So whatever's going on, it's the last straw. Maybe it's something that you've wanted to make it work, maybe make a relationship work, a situation work. You haven't wanted to give up on it, but at the end of the day, it's just, it's just wounded and damaged. Like there's just, you're wounded and damaged from the situation, divine masculine. And it's just causing you to go, this is not how I want to live my life. So let's see for the divine feminine. What's, how is she presenting in her outer world this week? Getting the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Hermit. So she could be conflicted this week. There might be some sort of competition going on, either for her attention or she's feeling a little bit of inner conflict. Um, she could be extra sensitive, extra heightened, especially with this intuitive um, energy of Scorpio energy where she's really in contemplation mode. She's maybe learned, discovering some things about herself. Um, this is why they're saying, hold the course, keep your vision, keep going where you're going, Divine Feminine. And you may be extra, a little extra sensitive this week, but just don't let those things stop you from what you know to be your truth. So she also may be pulling her energy back a little bit too with this hermit card here in her outer world. So um, she could be a little conflicted emotionally this week, but um, it's bringing her to a place where she's learning more about herself. Let's see what's going on in her inner world this week. And guys, I am going to be doing an extended where we're going to go more in depth into the energies of this week. We're going to look at the themes um, of the energies between the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine. So this will be the relationship dynamic, how they're each relating to the dynamic between them, what's challenging the dynamic, what's supporting the dynamic. We're going to get also into the shadow aspects that could come up this week, which definitely feels very significant given that this anger card is here and um, your commitment is being tested. So it's gonna be really important to stay in your light and not let the shadow aspects come in. So I'm gonna be channeling that information as well, as well as the guidance of how to navigate the energy. So if this is resonating, I will be doing that extended. Um, but let's keep going here. What's, what's going on in the inner world for the Divine Feminine this week? In her inner world, we're getting the chariot. Wow, the Six of Wands, two cards of victory, success, and movement. And the Judgment card, too. They're both getting Judgment card in the same position, guys. Sorry, these cards are bigger. They're both getting Judgment in the same position. So something is 
ready to align to move forward spiritually. There is success coming in with the Six of Wands. This is why the commitment is being tested and they're saying to keep your vision, stay focused. Your hard work is paying off. There is victory coming here. And so if you're being tested somewhere in your outer world or you're, something's going on where there could be some conflict happening for you this week, trust me, it's driving you to victory here, Divine Feminine. Because this is also, you're getting two cards of contemplation and self-reflection. Because this is about reevaluation, the judgment card. And so you are getting the hermit and the judgment card in one on top of the other here. So, again, you might be tested with some fears or some things going on. And it's just saying that you know your truth, Divine Feminine. So make sure that you stay steady, go inward. And all of that good stuff. So let's see what's shifting for the masculine this week. In addition to what's already come through. What is shifting for the masculine this week? We get the Queen of Wands, the Two of Wands as well, and the Hanged Man. There's something that's calling to the masculine here. He is being called by something that is at a distance from him and he cannot help but be drawn to it and it's causing him to see things differently it's causing him to become enlightened he's on the brink of making something go forward with where he's going it's like he's receiving the call here with this two of wands and she's also getting the two of wands so the two of wands can represent the continuation of a partnership that's already started that spark has already hit it's already smoldering somewhere and now it's the continuation of it. And the Queen of Wands is about manifestation and attraction. This is about the feminine actually calling to the masculine. And he may be starting to see her in a different light this week. Why is the hanged man here? And the sun. Yeah, what he's realizing is that his feminine, this smoldering, passionate goddess... He can't, he can't ignore the call anymore. He can't ignore the call. And it's interesting with this card here, the description of the person who did this deck, I don't even know the name, but um, they wrote about this card from the standpoint of it's almost like he's ready to be birthed. See, he's like, he's starting to come out of the birth canal. <laughs> it's kind of graphic, but it's not that he's got to be there for much longer. This is very much an imminent breaking through of seeing things differently. This isn't just, oh, let me hang out here for a while. This is like, I'm ready to get out of this. So he's seeing things differently very quickly. And this is where his happiness lies. This is a beautiful epiphany that he's having for sure. So let's see for the Divine Feminine. What? How is she shifting this week? What is shifting for the Divine Feminine this week? We're getting Queen of Swords, which is resilience in this deck. We're getting the World, which is regeneration. And we're getting the Queen of the Ocean, Abundance, which is the Empress. So here you go, guys. This tells the whole story. She starts the week being very resilient, very clear, keeping the vision, holding the vision. And by her holding the vision, there is this enlightenment, there is this completion, but in this deck it's called regeneration. So that is something is being regenerated because of her resilience and commitment to where she's going, taking this advice, okay? And bringing in with it is the abundance. This is the empress. This is beautiful things arriving. This is the divine feminine embodied in the tarot deck. It's the, it's the sacred feminine, which is the empress. Nurturing, fertile, sensual. She's just, she's the divine feminine and incarnate in human form. So there's something emerging this week for the divine feminine where she may be tested, but staying strong is going to bring in this beautiful abundance and success and victory her way. So I'm going to head on over and do the extended. I'm going to pull one card of guidance for those of you that are not joining me over in the um, extended. So what's the best guidance for this Divine Masculine this week? 
Take time to breathe out. This is about letting go of something negative. This is about breathing out, making the space, letting go of what has hurt you and wounded you here, Divine Masculine. Just take time to breathe out. You know, you've been holding that in and just let it out. These are emotions. These are, you know, anger. This, These are negative thoughts, whatever it is that's negative. Time to release it, Divine Masculine. Whether it's internal or whether it's in the form of toxic situations, relationships, people, whatever that may be. And for the Divine Feminine this week, what's the best guidance? Don't let your past hold you back. Like I said, you're moving into the Empress energy in a big time. This is not being held back by things from the past. This is about not letting that anchor you down anymore. This is about going to a new stratosphere, moving past your, your existing sphere of reality and going further forward. All right, lovely friends. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to go record the extended now. We're going to get a lot more in depth and especially into the shadow aspects that will keep you on track. So if you want to join me, the link is down in the description box below. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.